Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testpreppinsight.com. And today I'm gonna to be comparing the MCAT courses from Kaplan and Altius, two of the bigger names in MCAT prep. We did the same comparison video a couple years ago, but since then, both companies have really shaken up their programs and added new study materials and features. So I thought it was time for a refresh. So today we're gonna to take a fresh look at how these courses compare and I'll let you know which one I think is better. And by the way, I should just mention up front here that since I'll just be focusing on the highlights in this video, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written comparison to these two companies over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight, Altius vs. Kaplan. That's a quick way to find it. Okay, so to try to keep this video on the shorter side and to the point, I'm not going to provide a detailed overview and review of how each course works. Both of these MCAT programs are so comprehensive that a nitty gritty breakdown like that would end up making this a 30 minute video. It would just be too much and I wanna keep this video more focused. Plus, I already have granular review videos of each MCAT course if you do wanna get into the weeds, which you can check out. I'll have those linked down below in the description if you wanna jump over and check those out at any point. Instead, what I wanna do in this video is basically describe the big differentiators between these courses and where I see each having advantages and winning over the other. I'm hoping this will help you kind of figure out which program will be best for you based on your learning style and desired features and personal situation. Plus at the end, I'll give you a quick verdict and tell you which one I think wins overall based on our rating. So with that in mind, let's dive in and start with Kaplan. And Kaplan, in my opinion, wins in four key areas. They've got better on-demand video lessons, better prep books, better live instructors, and we prefer how they structure their course and integrate their study materials together. So let's work down that list in order. So the first highlight of the Kaplan course, in my opinion, is their revamped video lessons. Their new video lessons are simply awesome and bring them in line with Blueprint for some of the best in the space. They're engaging and have all of the key elements we always look for and give high grades to. On-screen instructors, helpful visuals and graphics, short length, high yield content, they've really got it all. It's kind of funny actually. These new video lessons are literally a 180 from Kaplan's old video lessons from a couple years ago. I'll show some footage of what these video lessons look like back in 2020 when we first took and reviewed this course versus what they look like today. It's just a night and day difference and they are very good now. Some of the best in the space. Honestly, if you're thinking of going the on-demand self-paced route rather than taking live online classes, this is gonna weigh very strongly in Kaplan's favor over Altius. Altius's on-demand video lessons are honestly just not that good. It's just not what they're known for. Between these two, for video lessons, Kaplan wins 10 times out of 10. Then second, prep books. Again, this is a bit of a night and day difference between these two courses. Kaplan gives you an unreal prep book set with seven volumes of content review and class workbooks, while Altius just gives you one book. And while we like the Altius book, it's kind of like a little MCAT Bible. It just can't touch the level of detail and graphics that Kaplan provides. Their books are awesome. They're insanely detailed, have great visuals, and literally give you everything you would need for the exam. If you know how to use them. If you rely on them too heavily, you might end up bogging yourself down because there is simply so much detail in them. But if you can kind of find a groove for leveraging these books where needed around the video lessons in class, they are very powerful. They are definitely the most in-depth prep books in the space, and the Quick Sheets book that they give you is the perfect cheat sheet for reviewing in the last few days. So Kaplan definitely wins on prep books. And by the way, like I said, I'm trying to keep this video a little shorter because it is just a video. So if you want more detail on either program's prep books, you can always check out that full detailed written comparison that I mentioned earlier. I'll have that link down below in the description for you. Then third on our list of Kaplan's pros, you've got live instructors. And while I'd say we were generally happy with the Altius course instructors, Kaplan's teachers are just better. Here's the thing, rather than employing full-time instructors that stick with the company year after year, Altius uses former students to teach their classes. Basically, they look back at their own students that scored in the 95th percentile or better from the previous year, then make them an offer to come teach classes during their gap year. So most of the Altius instructors you'll get are just former students that are a year farther along in the process. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. They have just been through the process and they're very in tune with the exam and what to expect and they clearly know their stuff, but it's just not the same as Kaplan's team. It's clear that the Kaplan instructors all have been teaching to the MCAT for years and have some insane subject matter knowledge. Most of them are full-time MCAT tutors and they understand the hard content, cars, strategy, everything. They just really know their stuff as well as how to communicate it. So for us, Kaplan has a clear edge when it comes to live instruction. And lastly, one really nice change that Kaplan has made is with their course structure. 
They've integrated all of their study materials together and it works really well. The video lessons, prep books, and QBank all tie into one another for a pretty seamless experience. For example, just let me explain. If you're watching a video lesson on isomers, but feel like you need some more detail, they'll direct you over to chapter two of the organic chemistry review book for some in-depth notes. And if post video lesson, you wanna work practice problems that just target what you learned about isomers, then you can create a custom quiz in the QBank that only has isomer problems. Essentially, all of the material is grouped in order by topic and all ties in with itself, which is an awesome organizational system that really helps. The Kaplan course as a whole has a lot more cohesive feel than Altius's course. Okay, so before we move straight into talking about Altius's pros, there is one last thing that I wanna to touch on, which is also sort of a win for Kaplan, and that's cost. When it comes to pricing between these two companies, Kaplan definitely has a strong advantage. Let me quickly break it down. Although Kaplan technically has four different packages to choose from, there are really just two that I wanna look at, since this is probably where 80 or 90% of students will fall. Their self-paced on-demand course and their live online course. The on-demand course costs right around $2,100, and the live online course costs around $2,700. Now, on the other side, Altius has four different packages, which generally differ based on hours of instruction and mentoring. You've got their Elite package, then Silver, Gold, and Platinum. The Elite package, which is probably the closest to Kaplan's live online course, costs $3,000. The Silver package is $3,700. The Gold is $5,000, and the Platinum is $7,000. So when you stack these two companies up side by side, clearly Kaplan has an advantage. Their live online course is $300 cheaper than Altius's flagship elite course, and their on-demand package is almost a grand cheaper. But one thing I'll say here is that because both companies are in pretty fierce competition with each other and other MCAT companies for that matter, they're both pretty aggressive with their deals and special promos, and you can almost always find a discount on their courses, so do make sure to look for coupon codes. In fact, I'll actually do my best to keep the description down below updated with the most current coupon codes that I can find floating around out there. So make sure to check out that text below the video screen and give it a look before buying. You can usually save at least a few hundred dollars on each package, so make sure to check that out. Okay, so now that you know where Kaplan wins and has its strengths, let me get to Altius's pros list. And we have them winning on three key points, more realistic practice tests, included one-on-one -on -one coaching, and problem explanations. So again, let's run down the list. And the first one that I actually wanna talk about is their one-on-one -on -one mentoring. Basically, Kaplan, like most other MCAT courses, treats tutoring as an add-on and it's pretty pricey, while Altius builds it directly into all of their standard packages. In reality, weekly one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions are kind of at the heart of this course. You meet with your personal coach on a weekly basis, catch them up on your progress, and talk about whatever is gonna give you the most lift. It's all fair game. You can review practice tests together, look at your study schedule, ask more general questions, discuss strategy. It's all up for grabs. The same former students that act as the instructors are also the personal mentors, and they really know their stuff, so it's a valuable piece of this program. Personally, I love that Altius builds this feature right into their course for free as it gives their study program more of a personalized and structured feel. Honestly, it's about the biggest value out of the Altius course. Then second, Altius's practice tests are about the best in the space. In fact, they're so good that even other MCAT courses like Prep 101 and others actually license the Altius test for their own students. So to formulate their practice exams, Altius has used some software to analyze official MCAT problems by word count, difficulty, length, content, and some other factors, then use that to reverse engineer some very good practice questions. They're highly realistic and closely replicate the real thing. Now, to be fair here, the Kaplan MCAT practice tests are a lot better than they used to be. This used to be a real Achilles heel for Kaplan, but they've dedicated a ton of resources to rebuilding their MCAT practice test over the last year or so, and now they're very good. They're not as good as Altius's in our team's opinion, but they're very good in their own right. At the end of the day though, this is one of the Altius specialties and their practice tests are just hard to beat. And to go along with that, my last win for Altius is problem explanations. Their answer solutions are very, very good. They're insightful, really comprehensive, and written in an easy to understand way. They're just plain good, and when you combine these answer solutions with the quality of Altius's practice test, it's a really effective combination. They have some of the best practice material in the space. For Kaplan, I think their MCAT problem explanations are okay. They're a little on the brief side, but serviceable all the same, but it's just not one of their highlights like it is with Altius. But anyway, that about covers the detail in this comparison. So let's get to my final thoughts on which course you should go with. 
But before I get to that, I should just mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free prep course to one lucky person. Super simple dinner. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to get entered, but just know it takes like less than 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free MCAT course from Kaplan or Altius. Okay, the final verdict. So here's what I would say. If you're trying to decide between these two courses, I would personally go with Kaplan in most situations. Over the last couple of years, they've made some really nice improvements to their MCAT course, like program structure and video lessons, while Altius has frankly regressed a little bit. They've just been on different trajectories. As of today, Kaplan just offers a much stronger MCAT course and our team gives them better grades across the board. That said, there are still some situations where it might make sense to go with Altius. For example, if you're looking for a more personalized approach with one-on-one -on -one mentoring and small group classes, it is a great course if you need that handholding. But straight up between these two, we think Kaplan is the superior course and that's who we recommend for most students. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something about both Kaplan and Altius. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and drop me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you wanna see that full detailed written comparison that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. We got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.